Hi, my name is Andrew Alardi. I'm the creator and current maintainer of the RiverIn.com, and I wanted to personally welcome you to the site with video intro. I know we have an about us, us section up on the site, but I wanted to give a little bit of a personal touch to the site. So I figured what better way than to do a little video intro explaining who I am, a uh, little bit about the name of the site, where I came from, who introduced me to the problem, and what the site uh, is meant to achieve, and what I hope it can give to the psychological community. Uh, first thing is, who am I? And currently, I am an undergrad at Delphi University studying psychology. I absolutely love the field, I love everything about it, and I hope, pending in a couple of months, that I will be accepted to a PhD program, but who knows right now. Um, the name of the site, where it came from. In Greek mythology, there's a place called the River Styx, and this is where all the dead people go. So I thought, well, the River Styx, dead people, unconscious, id, where do all the papers go that are unpublished, that can't reject the null hypothesis, that are, that are rejected by publishers because they just simply didn't have enough multiple studies done in one uh, study. And I thought, well, this is where everything goes, to where it's unknown. And I don't want it to be unknown anymore. I want it to be put on the web in a place where people can find it. And the person who introduced me to this problem was Robert uh, F. Bornstein, a really great professor, and I really owe him a lot of thanks for introducing me to this problem. And what really sparked me about it is that no one had come up with a solution for it yet. And that's what this site is truly about. It's not about improving your academic career. And if that's what your career is about, that's good. But that's not what this site is about. So let's just put that aside for now. And let's focus on those people who are truly alt altruistic and want to provide more for their psychological community because I know there are doctoral students, professors, undergrad students who have done research that other people have probably done and have found nothing and they both got the same result which was nothing and I just think it'd be great if either one of them could have found out beforehand that their hypothesis wasn't going to work and they could have saved a lot of time if they had just known about it and that's what the site is about knowing about what studies have been done that haven't worked before. And currently, I'll be reviewing the articles and hopefully along with some of my peers. And what we'll be hoping to accomplish is a good, strong database of articles that just weren't able to reject the null, not because of internal, external validity or any other reasons besides the one that can't reject the null. And I think that's fine because a lot of papers, it was he said it was something like 19 out of 20 papers aren't going to get published because they can't reject the null. And that's fine because now we have a place to house those 19 out of 20 papers. So I encourage you to post anything you have up on this site. Send it to me. We'll review it. Email you back. You can call me. Anything. I, the site is about helping the community. This is not an individualist endeavor. Thank you for your time. Um, I hope I've provided you some insight into what the site is about. Take care, and I hope to see some of your articles on our website soon. Bye.